Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably uh, share uh, one really good mode that I believe you should also use it in case you are trying to get the most out of uh, your uh, emag and org mode. In case you are not really uh, using org mode, then you should. <laughs> if you are using emacs, then I think it makes sense that you use org mode. In fact, a lot of people use org mode. Uh, a lot of uh, I should say a lot of people use emacs only for org mode, which makes sense. So I'm going to talk about today uh, about this mode called uh, org bullets. It is basically one additional package that I believe you can install. So uh, let us talk about uh, first how this uh, mode works and uh, what all you, what all it can do for you. So right now, if you are looking at any org file, you would have, you know, this uh, uh, list of headers. And within headers, you might have, uh, you know, sub headers, so basically task and sub task, or whatever you want to call it. So basically, the way it works is, you have basically a file where uh, you need to use uh, asterisks. And based on uh, the asterisks in the front of your uh, header or task, you can actually create uh, a top level task or maybe second level, third level. So right now, let me just open uh, maybe one of uh, the uh, file, one of the header where I'm, I'm sure I have uh, maybe a couple of levels. So, okay, so let us talk about this one. And if you, if you look at this particular uh, level, you have uh, this, uh, um, let me just uh, narrow it. Okay, so right now we are looking at this file, which is of course, uh, I mean, not, not even just file, one, one header within my within my file and this is this is basically my notes for uh, all the packages or whatever customizations i have done with uh, with my arch linux distribution on uh, thinkpad so i basically like uh, keeping uh, my own notes and org mode is of course wonderful for uh, note taking and by the way i also publish it on my website using nothing but org mode or Emacs. So basically, uh, this particular uh, file is, uh, or this particular level, this particular header has this asterisk in the front. And if you have uh, two asterisks, you will create, uh, you can actually create uh, two levels. Right now, one of the asterisks is basically hidden because I'm using another mode, which is uh, probably I'll mention in another uh, video. And if you expand it further, you can have maybe, you know, let us say you want to add third third level. So you can have one, two, three, space, and then you have uh, one more level within this, uh, you know, blah, 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 you know, whatever in, within this boot in UEFI mo option. So basically this SFDS is basically one more uh, level. And you can actually uh, create one more if you want. Uh, sorry, I need to use uh, Alt, Shift, and uh, basically, you can have, you can use the shortcuts, but don't worry about the shortcuts in the beginning. I think you should just focus on the concept, which is based on the number of asterisks in the front. And uh, this is of course a nice way of uh, you know uh, organizing your uh, hierarchies. And especially, especially if you're making notes, I think uh, you need to use. I think you would appreciate this capability. And because each and every level has its own, uh, because you can actually make uh, any level or any task at any level as uh, um, as a to-do item which can have its own date by the way uh, which which you can schedule and th this is wonderful because you know the way you work in org mode you want to start with the maybe maybe you want to start with your high level goals and then you want to maybe you know you want to start with a let us say you're working on a project so your project could be your header and then you can keep on breaking it up uh, so this is one wonderful and i of course that is how many people use uh, org mode and uh, what I wanted to talk about today uh, about this org bullet mode is that you can use this mode, which is nothing but, I mean, it's called as org bullet. You can install it. And uh, because this particular mode is also enabled by default in my init file. So whenever I open my org mode, I have this mode enabled. So let me open this. So basically the command is uh, org bullets mode, org hyphen bullets hyphen mode. And if you press enter, notice this, uh, uh, this difference. So now the asterisks are replaced with this beautiful looking bullet points. And it is of course visually great because you want to visually see uh, these bullets in uh, different, uh, I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. I mean, if you look at uh, how you can have different uh, 
uh, icons for these different levels at different uh, levels of tasks i think it will visually enhance your experience and i think you can or i think you should use it uh, i mean I, i'm i'm going to say that uh, you should be using it because uh, this is of course wonderful and uh, to install this you need to use uh, this package or bullets and by the way to install uh, uh, a package there are a couple of ways of doing it i mean if you if i if i show you my dot uh, emacs uh my init file basically if you look here this particular uh, file has the uh, different uh, modes and basically what you need to do you need to basically install install this package basically you'll get a folder i mean it's nothing but you know you can download this from you know your github from this github repository and uh, uh, when you have this package installed in your you know this particular directory which is my .emacs.d you you just need to you know call it that is it and this is of course uh, fine but uh, you might also want to look at uh, the uh, uh, the the package repository so if you do list like meta x and then uh, list hyphen packages you can uh, you can search in the in the in the uh, repository manager so you can do control s and uh, what i'm looking for is uh, yep so we have we also have this uh, in the in the uh, repository so you can actually press here uh, i and then if you press x it will do the installation so i'm not really going to do it because i already have this uh, installed and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video because this is a wonderful package and this is actually going to make your life uh, a lot more easier i mean a bit more easier if you are using <laughs> if you are using org mode because visually it will enhance the experience and i thought i'll probably talk about it i'm not really sure if i mentioned this in my previous videos uh but but i think you should try to use it and personally i prefer using these lines and i by the way i have covered this uh, i mean there is a mode for it try it yourself but uh, uh apart from these lines you can also use you know when I, when you have these uh, different levels these different levels are shown at uh, i mean th there is some in indentation which i think is wonderful because you need to see that this particular uh, level is a child of uh, this parent and uh, when you have these indentations then you know these modes uh, that you have um, will definitely enhance your overall experience and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye